Two raids, two results. We now know Navy SEALs going after an Al-Shabaab leader in Somalia pulled out when they realized they couldn't capture him alive. Several media outlets in D.C. are quoting anonymous sources saying once the SEALs encountered a fierce gunfight of at least 15 minutes, the team leader decided to abort the capture not kill mission. This is beginning to explain a lot about why SEAL Team 6 was put in such jeopardy to go into this town in southern Somalia, which was a known Al-Shabaab stronghold. The other weekend raid was successful. A team captured an Al-Qaeda leader known as Abu Anas Al-Libi. Sources haven't revealed which U.S. forces snatched Al-Libi from his SUV in Libya, but the government believes he's connected to the 1998 U.S. embassy bombings in Kenya and Tanzania. ABC says Alibi's questioning is already underway, but will not involve waterboarding. The network spoke with a former military interrogator. You can break anybody. The important thing is just to build rapport. As for the man who evaded capture, he's widely reported as a man known as Ikrima. What's widely disagreed on is why the U.S. wanted him. He's a leader in Al-Shabaab, the group that's claimed responsibility for the Kenyan mall attack, so many media outlets seem to hint this raid was retaliation. However, the New York Times reports Ikrima had no connection to the mall attack. An official told the Times he's wanted for the 1998 embassy bombings as well and other attacks. Sources also tell the Times while they can't confirm whether the SEALs killed Ikrima, they acknowledged it's unlikely. For Newsy, I'm Cliff Judy.